Albert Einstein made a significant prediction when he suggested we would never be able to witness the edge of the universe. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured a void in the early cosmos that might support this hypothesis. But what are we truly witnessing? Is this void real, and could it signify the universe's origin? Scientists may have uncovered a startling discovery, an unusual void from the dawn of time could indeed support one of Einstein's remarkable forecasts. Over a century ago, astronomers began looking beyond the Milky Way's edges. Initially, they observed only hazy clouds, but soon realized these clouds were other galaxies. The first galaxies identified were the small and large Magellanic clouds, followed by the Andromeda galaxy. To their amazement, they learned there were countless galaxies, leading to revolutionary ideas about galactic evolution and the infinite nature of the cosmos. Next, Edwin Hubble noted that distant galaxies were receding from us, introducing the concept of an expanding universe. Not long after, Georges Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang Theory. This all happened just after Einstein had introduced his theories of relativity. Many theoretical ideas from the 1910s and 1920s were later confirmed by discovery. Despite this, Einstein remained uncertain throughout his life whether the universe truly had a beginning and an end, though he accepted the Big Bang Theory. However, one thing Einstein firmly believed in, even if the universe had a start and an end, he was convinced we'd never be able to observe them, no matter how advanced our telescopes became. But why did Einstein hold this belief, and how does it connect to the void found by the James Webb Telescope? Einstein, one of the most groundbreaking scientists of the 20th century, made many predictions that still underpin modern science today. One notable theory was that we could never directly observe the true beginning of the universe. He offered two key reasons for this. First, the Big Bang and related theories suggest that there was no light for hundreds of thousands of years after the event. Scientists refer to this period as the Dark Ages. How can we observe something when no light existed? Today, there are intriguing solutions to this question, such as the use of radio telescopes, which don't rely on sight but sound. Researchers believe the Big Bang wasn't a loud explosion but rather occurred in complete silence. Space, where an audible blast might have occurred, didn't even exist at the time. Space itself was born alongside the Big Bang. Radio telescopes detect waves beyond the human range of hearing. Space doesn't carry sound well, and only certain waves penetrate the interstellar medium, making them audible through modern technology. Hence, even if we could detect it, we wouldn't hear the beginning of the universe. In the 1960s, scientists discovered cosmic background radiation, now thoroughly mapped. This radiation is considered an aftereffect of the Big Bang, offering significant evidence for it. Yet, the microwave background hasn't led us directly to the Big Bang itself, meaning we still can't observe or prove the universe's absolute origin. Einstein also believed that the ongoing expansion of the universe would push the beginning farther from our reach, making it impossible to observe. He even speculated that the universe's starting point could be hidden behind a kind of horizon, forever obscuring our view. At a time when telescopes could barely discern neighboring galaxies, scientists could hardly imagine the vast universe filled with millions of galaxies. Today, even though the universe continues to expand, we can observe objects as far back as 13.6 billion years, bringing us close to the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope allows us to see these ancient cosmic structures. However, rather than revealing the Big Bang, the telescope has discovered a strange void. You may have heard that this telescope has uncovered an astonishing number of ancient galaxies, even calling the Big Bang theory into question. But did you know it also detected a mysterious void that might support Einstein's prediction that we'll never observe the universe's beginning? Absolute voids, regions so empty they seem to defy the theory of relativity, may ironically support Einstein's idea of the universe's origins being unobservable. Initially, this void was thought to be a relic of the Dark Ages, a time before stars and galaxies formed. However, it turned out to be an incredibly distant and scientifically perplexing phenomenon. While voids exist closer to us and remain puzzling, those in the early universe don't align with established theories. They don't fit the concept of a homogeneous universe tied to the Big Bang and cosmic expansion. These voids are too large, too strange, and too inconsistent with our current understanding of cosmology. Nevertheless, 
the James Webb telescope seems to confirm Einstein's prediction in another way. So far, it has found no evidence of the universe's beginning or early stages. The galaxies and structures it has observed resemble those in the more familiar parts of the cosmos. Could this mysterious void be the universe's origin? We can't completely rule out the idea, as the true nature of voids is still unclear. Some scientists even speculate that voids could be remnants of collisions between universes in a multiverse. Others suggest outlandish ideas, like aliens darkening galaxies within voids to harvest energy. These enigmatic voids continue to challenge our understanding of the universe and spark all kinds of wild theories. Could the universe have emerged from a void? The fact that we can't definitively disprove it only fuels such speculation. This raises the question of how matter was created. What are singularities? Singularities are points where forces are so concentrated that our usual understanding of dimensions and values breaks down, or where everything is compressed into a single point. From this tiny singularity, the entire universe may have sprung, containing everything we know today. Singularities also exist in black holes, which are found at the center of almost every galaxy. Black holes are believed to form when massive stars explode, but no one has ever ventured inside one. Like the universe's origin, singularities remain a mystery. We rely on calculations that made sense until the James Webb Telescope challenged our theories, suggesting that the universe may be older or more complex than previously thought. Black holes are vast, extremely dense, and their forces likely increase to infinity within, making them nearly impossible to study. However, scientists hope that advances in computing, particularly with quantum technologies, will one day reveal the secrets of the universe and its origins. If you want to explore more of these cosmic mysteries and stay up to date with groundbreaking discoveries, click subscribe now to dive deeper into the universe.